job site and the people wanted by request a bigger water heater so we changed out their water heater and we brought this one home it wasn't working it's not heating function it's not heating right but we are going to show you how to fix that with this now we're also going to do something different with this you can see down here we have all these parts we are going to make it into an automatic 12 volt system we are going to hook it up to some solar panels that way we don't have to mess with it and we will show you how we do this and we will link down below the parts that we're working with so you know what we have so you can maybe modify your own yep uh, below the video she'll put a link to all those parts and what we use up here too yep and that will be in the next video we will show you how to do that yeah. in this video we're yes going to the next video right yes we're going to build this with this in the next video so you better what you better subscribe you better subscribe <laughs> hit that like button right Oh, quit moving around. There, stop your mouse. Right. Mouse, yeah. stop. Oh. There. Okay. God, them and their mouse. All right. We're going to show you how we're going to be using this to clean out our water heater so we can get a better use out of it. It is not that old, so we want to save it. Now, if you come over here, you can see down here on the ground, this water heater, we've already flushed it out a few times, but this water heater is full of this. That is calcium and lime. And that yeah. shuts down your water heater. And that's the third rinse that she's done in here. But bad the, well water. <laughs> bad well water. Actually, bad yeah. city. She was on city water. City water. She was on city water. So we're using what? We're using this CLR. Okay. So below the video, she'll put a link to that. But I want y'all to look. This is a 40 gallon. And she's going to pour that into the into cold, here. cold side. The right cold there. Side. Here. Let me get this light on so we can see this better. All right, she's going to pour this, and that's nighttime. And we're this using a whole bottle because a whole this is bottle, a 40-gallon. A 28-ounce bottle. So it's basically 25% of each, each one-fourth of the bottle for each 10 gallons. Yes. Normal cleaning. If it's bad, you can put you a can little put a more than that. But that's what you want your goal to be right there. You're going to pour it in carefully. So it's going to go in the cold side. So we've removed all these, and I have added a three-quarter purge valve over here. This is the TP valve your pressure release valve and this is the cold side and below the video in that group of items i'll make sure i put this so that you guys can do what i'm doing here this makes it a lot easier and i do recommend drain your water heater down if you can some of these water heaters you will not be able to drain them down because like this one see this when we first started this one here it look down here oh sorry i blocked that with my finger when we start first start doing it it was worse. It was way worse, and it was plugged up, so I had to use a couple of zip ties to work into here and get that cleaned out. And you want to try to avoid getting that stuff on your hands, so. So, yeah, here, there you go. All right, a little clean off right there. Oh, there you go. All right, there was a tiny bit came out that valve. All right, good deal right there. All right, so now I'll have her hold this, and I'll show you what we're doing here. Come on over here, Kara. Okay. All right. So what I've got is I've got a swivel style, three quarter IP, iron pipe size, and a hose fitting on there. Now it just came with the little thing. You don't have to have the screen on there. And I'm going to take that out. I put a little Teflon around here so it don't leak. And I'm going to thread that on. And just get it snug. You ain't, you ain't going to be, you know, You don't have to crazy. be macho, man. Well, you're, not leave, you're not walking away from it, basically. And if it's outside, it's not going to hurt nothing. So nope. I have this that I'm using because I've hooked it to a hose and I'll put a link in there to this adapter so you can do the same thing with a boiler drain. This is called a boiler drain or a bib faucet. Yeah. And I'm going to crank that down on it. Make sure that part's tight. Make sure it's good and tight and firm and give it just a little bump so I can't really twist it easy, okay? Just I'm like that. I'm using the greatest wrench that the God has pump ever made. Plier. <laughs> they are They are the best. So, all right, now. We're going to go ahead. We're going to make sure that's closed. Make sure this one here is cracked open because you're going to purge the air out as your water goes in. All right. And right now we've turned the water on. Full blast. And then over here, I'll show you by turning this off. You get over there where they can hear it. I'm going to turn this off. Let the air pressure build up a little bit. And that's also where you can check your tank for leaks is letting that air pressure build up in there from the water going in. Because you can't compress water, but you can push the air from the water and make compression. So watch this. Hear the air? I hope you all heard that. 
So it relieved the air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to turn it all the way down till it just touches. Now you can just put a T on this if you want to. You don't have to use a valve. I use a valve when I purge out people's uh, water lines or their, their water heaters. And I'm just going to crack this open so I can just barely, barely hear the air. And that way this will start to drip when this fills up. And now why are we using the cold side? The cold side is the side with the dip tube. So it's a long plastic tube that goes past your heating elements and down to the bottom. It's, so then the liquid she just poured in, the CLR is gonna stir up by this. It's gonna spin it around in there and it's gonna scour the walls that, where it's really bad down at the bottom, all right? Yeah, if you need an example, it's quite similar to pumping a well. Yeah, kind of sort of like purging your well out. So let's get back over here and I wanna show you how quick this is already working. You'll see the nasty stuff start coming out. It's already coming out. Here, get some more of that. And you can hear it in there. Too. Yeah, and you can hear it gurgling in there. So you want to make sure that suds up a little bit. And that's just what you want. So I'm going to get up here again and I'll check this. Just enough to push on my thumb. So it's allowing just a little air pressure out. Yeah, I put my thumb on it and feel it pushing. So that's what I want. Now, back over here to these items. Here, I'll let her hold this. These are the items. Now, I'm going to probably, I'll put the links to the bigger ones. These are the smaller ones. It's what, 600 watts? So I'll put the links to the 5, 6, and 700 watt ones. You can put two of these in this water heater. That is a 1-inch standard fitting that goes into a water heater. And when your voltage gets up, yeah, I'm going to use this one as an example. When your voltage in your battery bank gets up past 13.3, that means your batteries are at 80% or higher, then it will divert power, send your controllers, charge controllers up to a higher rate, and it will send the power to these. Now, using this accessory wire, we're going to connect it through the thermostats in this. The thermostat will then allow power through when it's cold, and it'll kill power to this when it's hot just like it would if it had a 240 volt element so we're going to be showing you that in the next video that's why you must subscribe and of course the like button i don't think you can hit it twice no yeah okay so <laughs> these terminals are what we're going to use this is an adjustable vsr so if you have a different type of system like lithium ion you can get these that are 12 and 24 volt and i'll put links to these too Some all right like lithium. and then this one's just a dirt cheap one works like this one but it don't have a light and all that jazz it's just dirt cheap but it will work for the same purpose using the same thing with the thermostats that are in there now and you want to use the upper thermostat as your trick wire for this or you can actually put one for each which is the common way of doing it because so, there is an isolator for everybody for everybody so this one here is a cheap stainless steel and ses and i think was this one here this one's 600 300 watt this one over here is a 600 watt, I think. Yeah, 600, 600 watt. And, but I'll be putting the double elements in this water heater at some point, but we're going to first start out with a set of these, which is 900 watts. And believe it or not, when your sun's up all day long, it'll do a hell of a job to give you 40 gallons of solid hot water and you don't pay for it. It's just- Which is when, the best part. It's the normal. Most people who have off grid, when their when their batteries get to full charge around two p.m., um, their solar controllers just drop, and they're only putting in an amp or two. This that's when this is going to be pulling that excess power and sending it over. But it's going to shut off at twelve point eight volts or twenty what twenty six volts, uh, twenty five volts. It'll shut off before it takes your batteries below their full charge. So you'll always heat water and. You'll do it cheaply. So we'll be right back to show the flush out and how this cleans a dirty water heater. The next video is going to cover this. At that, yep. All right, so this is an introductory to it. I hope you subscribe because you're going to get to see it. And nothing like a, what, $50, $60 kit to turn a regular 240-volt, two-element water heater into a DC powered water heater. Now this does work better, best with what, the 20 gallon, 
but we're going to do it with a 40 because we have massive batteries. So yes. we're going to do it with a 40 because we have what, 12, 14,000 watts of solar and a lot of battery. We're going to have a fun time. <laughs> but the most people, you can get you a 20. In fact, I will put a link to a Reliant style that's that you can take straight from the factory and do that to it. with my design. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, it's been about 45 minutes and we have got this ready to go. We are going to show you our results. Now we have used this dolly to shake it, but of course you can do it yourself. Or you can lay down on the ground and kind of roll it around as long as it's clean. Uh, we are of course going to show you what's in here and then what's down here. Now uh, CLR is usually safe as long as it's diluted and we are in a rural area. Yeah, so, so this grass down here is near the shops, near, near the, the shop, drain near walls, the so drain. we're good out here. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to give her a little shot from here. This So this comes out the hot side and we're going to get a little bit coming out of there. We're going to show you. you. Listen to that gnarly stuff going out of there. All right. All so, of this madness was in your water heater. Yes. So let's give that a few seconds. And we'll take a look here. And this is all the slurry coming out of this water heater. Miserable stuff. Okay. Looks crazy. Really bad. So I'll take that and... And you see all those chunks of stuff coming out of there, all these chunks. So that is what's in this water heater now. You can imagine that's up here. Now yeah. this, this tube here only goes down about that far into the water heater. What has sank to the bottom? <laughs> what has sank to the bottom, on the other hand, is a different item altogether. So we're going to... Crack it on in. Do you see that burp of crap coming? Look at the chunk. Oh, wow. There we go. So now... You'll see that nice. God, you, I wish the camera would show better. It's nice brown liquid. <laughs> Look at that gunk coming out of there. The, the this video. is what the water heater is full of. So that gets around the elements that remove that reduces the volume inside the water heater. And it creates a very negative, it, it's a heat sink, and it just eats up all the heat you're trying to make. So this is how you save. Now, nearly nearly 90% of the people in the United States with a water heater that's two years or older is going to have this. And if you yeah. use a water softener on a water heater, you'll probably already know. It kills elements pretty quick. So this, we're now going to, look at this. I can show you here. The junk coming out of here. There we go. It's got a lot of crap in there. Got a chunk of stuff coming out of there. I have seen rock looking stuff. Yeah. So a lot of some water heaters can be way worse, but this one luckily was in really good shape. Yes. So this one here is a 2022 model. And we rinsed it out. And so it's three years old, and we have done a rinse out. But look at here. <laughs> That is your CLR mixed with your lime. And that's the reason it's foaming up is because there's so much lime in it. CLR won't really foam up that much on its own, no. just a little bit. No, it needs lime to But it needs some pretty good stuff like, uh, I don't know, like spraying hydrogen peroxide on a wound. It's got to have a little bit of something to make it react, and it's full. So that is the easy way to do it. Now, my recommendation is that you're going to open this valve down here, and you will allow... It's going to use a lot of water to do this, guys. Uh, see all the pieces of stuff coming out of there? So, yeah. we're going to allow that valve to be on, and we're going to allow this valve to be on, and this one to be off. Yeah, keep the water running. Okay, and we're going to let this water run until we don't see no more bubbles coming out. And then we're going to close it, fill it, and then let it gravity drain one last time and then it's ready for the next step which is going to be this right here so y'all stay tuned i know uh, i'm gonna get a lot of comments why didn't you just do this in this video well i got finished working on that water heater so this and i got to get the cables for it so 
be a day or two. All right. Guys, clean your own water heater. Yeah, you don't have to throw it away when it's not working. No. The average plumbing company, if it's less than 10 years old, the average plumbing company will charge you over $400 to do what we just did for seven, five, I think six, with 13, and how much was 25 bucks, and about eight bucks. So for about $35, they'll charge you 400 bucks. Do it yourself. All right, but make sure off, cold, safe, disconnected, breakers off. Don't do nothing dumb. Keep it away from livestock. Keep it away from livestock, correct. And make sure that you have, if you have pets, make sure you fully do this away from them. Yes. But this will work on a gas model as well as an electric model. Just be careful with what you're working with, and you can do it.